Hey there folks welcome back to my channel and as you could possibly hear on the outside of the car it is absolutely pouring down outside i actually I thought that the worst of the rain had passed and i thought i'd chance it on my way home from work to go up to lust to go for a wee wander and shoot a video up or shoot a return video up here so but yeah it's the, the rain's just getting worse. I, I'm going to try and see if I can get out and go for a wander because I want to go to the general store because I know they sell some nice stuff and I was thinking for the product videos I might try and pick up some stuff from up here uh, but I'm not too sure how successful that actual wander around lost video is going to be uh, but it might be entertaining just to see what Scotland can be like when the weather is not so nice but hopefully yeah could be entertaining and if you are enjoying my videos if you are enjoying my channel if you can click on that subscribe button click on that notification bell leave some likes leave some comments it's always really appreciated and if you'd like to support the channel further eh, i will post a link to the channelscoffee.com page in the description bar below and then a pinned comment in the comment section so whether this video is a success or not it probably, hope, it probably will give you a better idea of what the weather can be like in Scotland. So here it goes. Yeah, so I'm not the only one who's out for a little wander around Loss. So I'm not the only crazy person. Uh, but again, sometimes it does kind of make the landscape of Scotland even more dramatic to actually see it in bad weather. So, and Loss is a really pretty little village. I know I've done vid a video here before, but I only showed a tiny little fraction of the village itself. So hopefully I'll be able to show you a wee bit more uh, of like the, the Kirk and the centre of the village and hopefully you'll like what you see. And if you are in Luss you can go and uh, get some, some little adventures on the water itself. And yeah. And if you are looking for maybe somewhere to kind of maybe get some coffee, get some ice cream, the village shop has always got a good place to stop. And if you are coming to Loss, you do have to remember that it is a conservation village and there is restricted parking, especially for those who are coming in to visit. It's just so that obviously the people who actually live in the village can park outside their own homes. So if you are coming to visit, there are two car parks. Uh, I think there's, uh, the, there's the one where I've parked, which is next to the village store. And there's, uh, I think they're calling it the uh, uh, Lost South Car Park, it's a new one. So there are two car par parks that are for visitors, for folk who are coming out to visit and have a wander around. Uh, so you just park there, uh, pay and display and you can wander in and have a wee walk around the village at your own leisure and enjoy the sights. So just remember, uh, disrespect the people who live here and respect the track, the parking restrictions. And yeah, and just enjoy your trip when you do come. Yeah, a couple of the houses have got their fires going. 
I can smell it and it smells really nice. I think it's peat they've got. Yeah, there's a couple of ducks flying up in the middle of the roads. Yeah, the village isn't usually this quiet. I have come on a fairly soggy Tuesday. A really warm, sunny bank holiday weekend. This place can be heaving. So really pretty. Yeah, it's a Loch Lomond to tell up there. I think I popped in there the last time I was here. Got the Loch Fish and Chip Shop. And this is the general store, so I'm going to pop in and try and see what I can find. Nice things, hopefully. I always love these wee cottages that you get in Loch. Really quaint. So, just some of your information for you. So that's uh, the last pier, that's where you get the boat trips from. That's Ben Lomond right over there. This is the last beach. And that is where I'm heading. That's uh, the village Kirk. I don't think it's standing on the original site, but there was an older Kirk serving the village, but it's still an interesting sight. Yeah, it's all the fact they do have these information boards around the village. A bit about the really famous song about the loch. Yeah, there is a, a Viking hogback stone, a bit like the ones that are kept within uh, Govan Parish Church. I think it's actually not that far from the gate. Just going to wander in. That's a really pretty little kirk. I remember seeing the hogback stone the last time I was here. I'm going to try and wander, try and see if I can find it again. Yeah, I've just spotted it. It's more like right in front of me. It's that really weird shaped 
gravestone. It actually does look like the back of a hog or a pig. And they are supposed to represent Viking longhouses. So if you can quite make it a carving on it. Because it, on, on the top of it, it looks like it's shingled for a roof. And it's almost like... Uh, the kind of carvings on the, the side of it remind me a bit of like, almost like arches. So it's always really interesting looking at these things. Yeah, so I've just come out from the back of the church. Um, just going to head down this way. It's a little nice path. Uh, I think it's over towards uh, the site of the original Kirk. So that's going to be interesting. Yeah, that's the centre of the village up there. That's uh, on the right hand side, just at the top of the roads. That's actually the fish and chip shop and the general store. I'm going to head this way. Yeah, so the rain coming back on again. But, yeah, still been an enjoyable visit. So that's a loch down that way. Yeah, so some information. So this is part of a kind of wider selection of Pilgrimage centres that are kind of dotted across the world, which is always, always interesting. So I'm going to just walk up to that. I think there's a, there's a wee kind of area that you can walk around. I think it is kind of like outdoor meditation, I think. But again, it's also just pretty well to be able to go for a wee wander. So it's an Asylum Celtic Cross. So it's the Pilgrimage Pathway Project. takes you around the Gleep, which is what this wee area is called. Well, that is me back from a little wander around Loughs and yeah, that is the rain coming back on because it did sort of kind of go off and was sort of showery for most of my walk around the village. But it seems to have come back on my vengeance now. But hopefully, despite the weather, you will all have enjoyed what you've seen in this video. And Loss is one of those good places that is, is a very popular place for people to come and visit. And quite rightly so, because it is a really pretty, gorgeous wee place to come and visit. And I, I have to admit, I did manage to treat myself. I managed to get myself a bottle of Hebridean gin, and I managed to get myself a couple of bars of really nice Scottish chocolate. So, probably I will try and do a uh, a video on both of those for you and yeah so hopefully this weather will shift soon and we'll get, get some nice sunshine hopefully I have heard rumours that we are supposed to be getting a heat wave coming or something in June which would be nice as I do have some annual leave coming up uh, so hopefully, uh, fingers crossed that will happen and I'll be able to get back out and shoot some more videos for you so hopefully despite the rain you'll have enjoyed this video I'll have enjoyed my little wander and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.